It's so good, amazing surge. <laughs> Flipping heads and spreading damage are two of my most favorite things to do in the Pokemon trading card game. So let's take a look at this new deck featuring Turbo Patch and Amazing Rare Kyogre. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we have an amazing deck featuring an amazing rare, amazing Kyogre with its amazing attack, amazing surge. But first, if you haven't already, please make sure to go down below and hit that big red subscribe button. Helps me out a lot to help this channel grow. I keep saying it, flex daddy to the moon, baby. We are soaring higher than Bitcoin, higher than Ethereum, higher than Dogecoin. It is crazy. So get in while the prices are low so that you can be here before we hit 50,000 dollars. So this is our deck featuring this amazing rare Kyogre with the amazing surge attack. This attack does 80 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That is not a misprint. 80 damage to everything. This is one of the most powerful spread attacks that we've ever seen. And it just gets better with the Telescopic Sight. Now, Telescopic Sight, if damage uh, on the bench is done to Pokemon V or Pokemon GX, it does 30 more damage. So you're going to be hitting for 110 damage to benched Pokemon V and GX. That is very, very cool. Now, the problem with Kyogre, as you can see here, is that it takes four energy to attack. Three of them must be different. So how do we get around that? Well, the first card that we get around it with is the Turbo Patch. This is going to allow us to flip a coin, and if adds, attach a basic energy from the discard to one of our basic Pokemon that's not a Pokemon GX. So Turbo Patch is going to get us, you know, one, two energy throughout the course of a game. But the big accelerator is our Trumbeak. Charging Trumpet is a uh, an ability that we just haven't ever featured on the channel. So this is, I think, Trumbeak's first deck. Somebody can go fact check that and let me know down in the comments. But Charging Trumpet, awesome ability, allows you to look at the top three cards and pick out any energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So Trumbeak, we attach from hand, we maybe get a Turbo Patch Heads, and all of a sudden we can whip up an Amazing Rare Kyogre out of nowhere, which you're actually going to see a couple of times in these next couple of games. We also have the Bench Sniper Rowlet with the Wind Shard attack. This attack does 60 damage to one of your benched Pokemon, opponent's bench Pokemon, and uh, if you played a Bird Keeper with that ability, Sky Circus, uh, ignore all energy costs. So we don't even need to get this thing powered up in the turn. We can just play a Bird Keeper and then go ahead and do the Sky Circus. So that is the list in a nutshell, you guys. I know you're going to love these games. We play against an Eternatus, we play against an ADP, and they are some intense, hype, crazy, wild, insane, disgusting games that really highlight how powerful this deck can be. So I hope you enjoy these next few games. Let's get on into it. We are back and better than ever. Happy to be here. And um, my hands smell like butter because we are making a TikTok recipe featuring potatoes, butter, salt, oregano, parsley, etc. etc. And it smells so good. I just take a whiff of my hands, smell my finger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kidding. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. Very good. So we got uh, we got a couple of things working out in our favor. Let's go ahead and primate wisdom. I definitely feel like I needed this in my soul here. Um, we could go for the turbo patch like ASAP but it's still gonna take us a few turns to power up the Kyogre. So I think I'm just gonna hold on to it and see what my opponent does. See if we need to start building up a Kyogre on the bench, I guess. Would be the thought that I, that's the thought that I'm thinking. So there's a quick ball. We would have loved to get a Pika Peck down, but that just isn't in our, uh, isn't meant to be, dude, please not like this. I mean, on the one hand, it's great because all his Pokemon have like 80 HP, so we could like potentially get a board wipe on the next turn. On the other hand, it's horrible because um, our Pika Packs, our Gurus, all these things are just not going to work. Oh, and it's also Eternatus VMAX. Okay. Things are going to be a little sketchy, not going to lie. And he's going for it. He's going to go for the, the thing. The thing, as I like to say. 
So coughing obviously has that ascension attack. He can get into a wheezing, but he's already discarded a wheezing. So I'm wondering if like, if he only plays like a 2-2 line because he's playing the Eternatus. So like maybe, and then he also maybe just doesn't have a switch. I don't know, man. Hard for me to say. Okay, there's the research. So he was thinking about, did he have a quick ball that he discarded? I'm sorry, what did he discard there? He discarded a Toxicroak, a hiding. Oh, okay, he drew the hiding energy. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so he's definitely looking, no switch, huh? It's not going to matter all that much, but uh, it is, um, yeah, not so good. Let's go there. We get another turbo patch attempt. Oh, baby. The carnage. And, uh, oh, a couple of Pika Peck. Don't mind if I do. And the boss's orders. What did I do to deserve this? Um... As much as, as much as I worry about him playing Chaotic Swell, I am just going to go ahead and attach here. I, I don't want to give them the uh, the Viridian Force. So I, I think we can get it either off the Trump Beak and then if we need to, last ditch, uh, last chance resort, last, last resort, last chance resort. I feel like that sounds like a, uh, like a restaurant like a bad it's it is wait hold on in indie right last it's like uh what is it dick's last resort or something yes dude i'm so right and that's where they're mean to you yeah there's like these restaurants um and they're just they're just really mean to you they're opening a dick's in columbus what in the world poggers Okay, so here's the deal. Yo, we just top deck this. <laughs> uh, we just top deck this. So I actually kind of want to like put up the slow bro, I guess. Because obviously if we evolve the Trumbeak, we're not going to be able to use the ability, right? With the neutralizing gas. So let's go bring up their fattest Mon, which... I guess it's going to be Galarian Slowbro. And... Um, hmm. Trying to think. We're, we're just going to attach here to the active. And then we're going to put... We're going to put something on the top. We're going to put a Rylid on the top. And then we might just discard the other card. Oh, we get a Marnie. How nice. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I might just Marnie my hand away. And then, and then go ahead and try to Trumpeak later and maybe get the Viridian Forest down. Yeah, yeah, that. Oh, we already, uh, we already gusted. Yeah, of course we did. Of course we did. Well, the top card of our deck is going to be, yeah, the thing. So, I would like the Trumbeak here, but a lot of me thinks that it might not be worth it because one of the cards we already know is a bad card. So, let's go. We're going to take two prizes here on my opponent's Pokemon. So maybe that's going to be enough to get us out of the hole. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, amazing surge. What the heck? Do 80, 80, 80, 80. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> and then now all we need, we like literally only need one more board wipe with a, um, with a tool. And we get the four, uh, we get like six prizes on the next turn if we do that. Which would be like ridiculous. Absolutely rabonculous. So there's the Krabat. Going to go back in with the Calm. They're going to get another Crobat. It's it's mastery out here. Another Calm. Put the Crobat in. Get the Crobat out. Okay, the Crobat has Whiplash for sure. <laughs> put your right foot in. You put your right bat out. You put your right bat in and you shake them all about. So there's a switch. Nice. All right. They are going to get a knockout here on the active. And it is up to us to come up with um, like, uh, like a ton of stuff, but it is doable. They have the Absol out. Be good. Be good. We were almost very bad there. All right. So this comes down. This comes down. 
put that there. That's pain. That is true pain. Um, do the trumbizzle. Trumbizzy bay, dude, we need one more trumbizzle? Or, alternatively, um, we need a, uh, we need a cocoa. Or, dude, come on, come on, turbo patch, please. <laughs> one time, one time. One time, one time. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> oh, it's so good, amazing surge. <laughs> That's so nasty. That is just a filthy. We took like six prizes on that last turn, man. <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. Uh, game one in the books, and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, please make sure to go like the video if you're already a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. But here is our game number two. Hopefully another unknowing opponent. I, I was so impressed with... How much energy we got down? We got those two energy off the uh, Trumbeak, one of which we, you know, put down, right? We, we, we put on, we guaranteed it with the uh, with the Guru, but then we flipped that head. So, oh, it's so exciting. So here, what do you do? Well, that's a good start. That's a good start. This, also good. We will get rid of the Bird Keeper. Give me a... Pika pick. And then we're going to hope. Um, we're going to hope that they don't get a turn one. Um, and then we're going to hope that we get like a double evolve and energy attachment. And yeah, I think I think we can do it. If we get this um, next turn Amazing Surge, I think we're in a pretty strong spot. Uh, but if we don't get it, then it's going to be real rough. So they come down with that Zacian like we, you know, expect. I'm just really nervous about the big charm. They should have put the big charm on the Zacian because we can two-shot that. We were three-shotting this anyway, so they were better off putting it on the Zacian, I think. We see that energy attachment come down. That means that they don't have it. And there's an energy search. That water... Oh, dude, they're going to do a metal? What? Do they have a Guru in hand? Are they going to try to put it on with the Intrepid Sword? Why did they... Why did they take a metal out of their deck? Do they not have waters? That would be so epic if they prized all their... Wa okay, they're going to research. I understand. <laughs> It's all making way more sense. <laughs> so they didn't attach the rusted sword. I am like all sorts of confused now. Uh, gonna go ahead with that uh, metal scosser and intrepid sword. All right, nice. Thank you for the Marnie. Um, yeah, let's quick ball. What I want to see here is like. I want to draw cards. I, I just want to draw cards, please. Let's go ahead and draw. Give me some juice. Yep. We didn't get what we desperately wanted, but we got enough. So let's go there. Um, and then I think we have the Marnie here. Yeah, at this point we have the Marnie. And then we'll see what we get off the, uh, off the Marnie. We can maybe Viridian. Yeah, it's looking good. So we are going to put... And energy to the top, right? Yeah, we want to do that now. Primate Wisdom. Hopefully we don't draw into an energy. You hate to see it. Uh, and then we will Trumbizzle. Give me two energy, one of which is a water, please. We got one. Uh, uh, we, could, we could technically do it, man. If we hit a heads here, it's another game. Where we just need to hit a heads. And uh, life is golden. So let's go, Turbo Patch. Oh! <laughs> I'm feeling good, man. We're going to take... <laughs> we're going to take 
four prizes on the next turn, assuming they don't get a knockout. Now, if you're the opponent, you probably just try to ultimate right here. Like, not gonna lie. You just go energy switch to the active and knock me out. Like, alter creation is good. Um, but it doesn't really, like, you, this whole game plan is really not sustainable. So you want to just, yeah, you, you just go as hard as you can for the energy switch, energy switch, knock me out, and then figure it out from there. But dude, we are in such a dominant position at this point. If this thing lives one more turn and we take these two prizes, win. Absolute dub. And then we get a dub against Eternatus. Can you imagine a dub against Eternatus and a dub against ADP? The crowd would go wild. I'd have to be pushing the ladies off. All right, another energy search. Very interesting. We see a switch. We see a guru now. A crowbat. Okay, okay, they're looking for something. Again, probably looking for that energy switch. Let's see if they get it. Let's see if they get it. No reason in here, by the way, to uh, to play the energy spinner. Um, or not to play the energy spinner over the energy search. Just for what it's worth, you're seeing this opponent play the energy search and that yeah should just be an energy spinner so see what they have i mean if they pass with the zashin active the nice thing for them is that this zashin doesn't get knocked out it only does 80 damage because this only affects the uh, telescopic sight only affects the the bench right so there is that marnie i would have preferred to keep the hand but yeah this one is like significantly worse oh there is the energy switch and they are going to go under the ADP. Okay, this is exactly what they needed to do. Perfect play for my opponent. Yeah, we do see that ultimate ray. Okay, okay. So now things get a little dicey. A little spicy, a little dicey. Um, obviously, we, we would have liked to have a uh, another Kyogre <laughs> on the bench. Um, so this does 150, huh? I think we got to go here to try to give ourselves one more turn, one, more, one extra turn. Um, yeah, we'll do one of those. We go with the old bird keeper. Not quite. All right. Need a, need a quick ball. Need a quick ball. Not quite. We can still win. It just, it does get a little saucy in here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put that in the bin. Take out a metal. It's looking quite good, but then they did the thing that we just like kind of didn't want them to do. So let's go with, we could peck. Or we could just retreat. <laughs> um, and then... Is it really going to be a guru attach? Is that really what we're about to do here? Guru attach? We could do 50 there. We could do 70 there. Just feel like we need like one more attacker for these awkward in-between phases. So there's a metal saucer. I think at this point, if you're the opponent, you probably just go ahead and alter creation. Yeah, and that is exactly what they do. They'll take their prize. So we're like, we need it now. We need it. We need it, you know. I, I have a cash settlement and I need cash now or something like that. JG Wentworth, 877 cash now. Um, give me this. Give me... We don't have the Coco. I'm realizing now we don't have the Coco. Um, so we're going to have to get everything off of the Trumbizzle. Which makes things a little more difficult uh let's go here they probably have gust right you gotta think they have gust don't they um if they g we need to attack this turn yeah that's that's the issue we need to attack so we gotta go for the uh the, the dene and then we gotta just do the i mean we have no choice we need to attack so we need to hit like um we, we need to hit like not this let's go ahead and primate wisdom sure please don't give me another energy okay trumbeak 
Yes. Yo. We've done it. If we hit heads on the turbo patch. <laughs> Yo. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, let's see. We we just let's just make sure. All right, this is just so unbelievable. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to, we could win the game if we get a bird keeper. Oh, we have all three of our bird keeper in the prizes. Oh no. So we amazing surge. We're gonna get those four prizes doing a ton of damage to the bench. Oh, we're so close. I was gonna say if we can get Rowlet bird keeper, then we win. Oh my gosh, that is so stinky. We took all of our bird keepers out with that, uh, with that Dedenne. If we just got one bird keeper Rowlet, into the Dedenne, we win. Oh my gosh, unreal. And they have a Marnie, dude, please, please. I just need, I just need a turn. I need a, I need like a couple of turns, man. And they shuffled all our stuff to the bottom. Now we need like a research or something. Oh man. We've been very fortunate on the turbo patch though. I got to say it's been pretty hype. So there's that they go down to three prizes. If they have a boss in hand, they will be able to clean this up and uh, they haven't played a boss yet. So I'm thinking it's going to be a little difficult for us to pull this one out, but there is hope because they haven't won yet. So we'll put up our guru. Let's go ahead and we get another Pika pack. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and scoop up this. Um, I want to, I want to discard something. Um, uh, maybe the air balloon is, I don't know. Yeah. It's either the air balloon or the trumpet. Like the trumpets don't really matter that much. But I just want to get something out of the deck. So probably, or I want to shuffle the deck at least because we want to get into our Kyogre, I think. So let's do that. And then let's go Primate Wisdom, the Trumbeak to the top. We get a Kyogre. Put that there. Go here. Um, And then we just have to hope that they don't have boss. So we pass. Yeah, that's all we can do. That is all we can do. And then on our next turn, we got to hope that we Trumbeak. Oh, and they have boss. Dang. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. Well, that is our amazing rare Kyogre deck. This was a fun one. I really am impressed with how we performed in those couple of games. And you know what? ADP is going to be ADP. I feel like we play against pretty much any other matchup and if our Kyogres last long enough like we're sweeping their board like we did in that first game so if you enjoyed the gameplay if you enjoyed the banter please make sure to subscribe and if you're already a subscriber let me know what you thought about the deck list down below in the comment section uh or just leave a little note to say hey I i'd love it love reading your guys's notes and uh, your guys comments it makes you feel good on the inside so uh, that is our deck list today remember guys good luck and also have fun